So, I'm coherent. Clark County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, right. Can you go ahead and pull into that spot for me? On Saturday, March 24th, around 7.43 p.m., Flagler County Sheriff's Office communications received several calls reporting a reckless driver in a green Kia Soul. The first witness observed the driver at the drive through of McDonald's on Old Kings Road, noting erratic behavior and signs of convulsions. The driver left the parking lot, swerving onto Palm Coast Parkway. A second caller described a neon car driving recklessly in parking lots and running all over curbs, driven by a white male covered in tattoos. With assistance from the Real-Time Crime Center, deputies located the vehicle speeding south on Kingswood Drive before turning into the Microtel Inn. During a traffic stop, deputies encountered Nicholas LeBlanc, 40, of Palm Coast, a convicted felon. Can you hand me the keys, please? Thank you, sir. All right. What's going on? With? You. What do you mean, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just went out food. I'm coming to get ready to eat. Getting ready to eat? Yeah. All right, you're like freaking out, it looks like. No, uh, the way I'm dri the driving? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> this car, it's got a, a centrifugal, uh, this car, it's automatic, but for some reason, it, I don't know why, sometimes if I hit it like the wrong way, it'll it'll work and drive as if I'm in like four and five. So I'll drive, next, I'll be next thing you know, It'll be fine, then I'll drop. But other than that, I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> it happens like, I don't know, maybe twice a week. I'm just, I okay. just went and got me done. Uh, what do you call it? Texas Roadhouse. So, Texas Roadhouse? Yeah. Okay. Out back. But, okay. But anyways. Do you have any weapons or narcotics in the vehicle? No, I have absolutely nothing. Okay. I'm good. If you could just step out of the vehicle for me so I can speak to you out of the vehicle. Okay. Thank you. I, I'm trying to figure out okay. I, uh, why, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I why? know why I'm being, you know, asked a question. Okay, or, uh, I'll yeah, tell you. So. so, the reason why for all of this is because we got n numerous calls describing this vehicle, mm -hmm. describing you, and then your driving pattern, which was a huge concern. We've been looking for you for quite a minute, okay? And <laughs> this was the last known area that we saw you, right, right, right. and then I just so happened to see you fly past us. No. I, so, I, that's, why, that's why we're here. Okay, the moral of the story is, is that... I, I bought this car brand new on, uh -huh. on Saturday and, and probably at 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say maybe Wednesday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, if you sat next to me, it would sound like I'm driving a clutch at a red light. Okay. <laughs> so, issue, issues with <laughs> You'll see. the yeah. motor or whatever. Right. Yeah, I, but what about you driving <laughs> all over the roadway, swerving? into different lanes, almost hitting the curb, all of that. I mean, I don't remember any, swerving and driving into the middle of the lanes. I you mean, didn't almost strike anything or anyone? No, absolutely not. I'm aware. I'm coherent. I mean, I'm competent. I know absolutely what's going on, you know? Okay. okay. So, we'll fast forward through all this. All right. um, you understand our concern, correct? No, no, and absolutely. why we're out here? I mean, yeah, I, I, okay. absolutely, I, I would. You know, it would be one okay. thing that if you came up and, and questioned me, and I gave you absolutely the total opposite of your answers, yeah. Then it would be like, okay, you know what, look, 99.9% of .9 the accusations or whatever you got on the call that are made against him, mm -hmm. we have to go for full force. So you coming out and talking to me yeah. gives me an opportunity yeah, to absolutely. explain to you, hey, you know, look so, why. So furthermore, um, I'd like to give you more opportunities. I'm now going to be conducting a DUI investigation. Okay. Are you willing to perform standardized field sobriety exercises? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Okay. Let's step over here. With your eyes, eyes only, don't move your head, follow this red light. Okay, do you understand? Okay. Don't move your head. Okay. Look straight. Look straight. Uh -huh. look straight. Go ahead. I ain't doing it at all. I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job with my eyes looking just right at it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. Toe to toe straight, but yeah. Your nine words about his message, you're five, but I think 
That's about the good you're going to get from me. I, I, okay. I'll give you all the utmost honesty. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. Mm -hmm. I look like I'm fucking out of my mind. Seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, twelve, one thousand. 11,000, 13,000, 12,000, 11,000, 13,000, 12,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 11,000, 12,000, 11,000, 12,000, 11,000, there has to be some other reasons, please. I, I'm not giving you why. I think you're under the influence of some sort of narcotic. LeBlanc denied drug use, but exhibited unusual behavior and failed field sobriety tests. He was arrested for driving under the influence. A search of his vehicle uncovered a prescription pill bottle containing a white powdery substance, identified as fentanyl. LeBlanc faces charges of possession of fentanyl alongside DUI, and was taken to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility. He declined further testing and is held on $5,000 bond. LeBlanc's criminal history in Flagler County dates to 2009, including a one-year prison term in 2015 for grand theft and cocaine possession, and a three-year sentence in 2021 for burglary, methamphetamine possession, and felonious firearm possession following a reportedly accidental shooting that severely injured a woman. He was released on November 29, 2023. This guy learned nothing from his time behind bars, said Sheriff Staley. He's still out there endangering the lives of others. I commend these witnesses for coming forward and reporting his erratic and suspicious behavior. We're happy to make him feel at home once again in the Green Roof Inn. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.